Excellent, excellent. When I told my dad I was going to do stand-up comedy, he was like, Ayo, you're going to join disco or what? <laughs> you know, that's what Indian parents tend to think. You know, but I love doing stand-up comedy. I have been, uh, I've been watching a lot of stand-up videos over the last few years and so on. And one thing good about being in Malaysia is that there's just so much of funny things. You know, if you, if you, if you just observe, at the casual surroundings around you. There's just so much funny things. And one thing that I've noticed about Malaysia is that um, we're really big on, you know, being famous. We always want to be famous. And yeah, certain things we are known for. You know, we have the world's tallest twin towers. Yeah. You know, we have one of the, the most difficult F1 circuits in Sepang. You know, we have KLIA, one of the best airports. But recently, right, I actually bought a book. I don't know whether some of you know about this book. But I bought this book, and it's called the Malaysia Book of Records. Have you heard of that? If you have, you know, if you want to waste 88 bucks of your money, you can buy that book, you know. I bought that book because I wanted to learn more about my country, right? And there's some serious shit in that book, man. For example, did you guys know that the world's largest 2B pencil <laughs> The world's largest 2B pencil is in Subhan Jaya. <laughs> now, I don't know, but I reckon that King Kong is going to move to Subhan Jaya soon. Okay, I mean, we've got the stationery for him. He can just fill up the legal documents and he'll be a resident of Subhan Jaya. Okay, the other thing that I've noticed is that we have the world's tallest roti tissue. Okay, the world's tallest roti. You know, Indians who invented the roti, right, when they look at that shit, they don't know what to do with it, man. You know, they look at it, man, how do you eat this shit? <laughs> you know, do you take it down from the top, from the bottom? If you take it from the bottom, you will drop. What nonsense is this? How do you do it, man? You know, so even Indians themselves are clueless about roti tissue as well. You know, but I think, I think the biggest joke that we have is the Ankasawan program. Okay. okay, first of all, let's talk about candidate selection. You would think, right, that we will put an astrophysicist, a scientist up in space, but who do we put? We put a half-baked orthopedic surgeon up in space. What the hell is he going to do up in space? Doctor, I hurt my back. <laughs> okay, take this. What is this? Tiger bum. <laughs> And then, he was sent up there to conduct five experiments, okay? Two of them were hilarious, okay? The, 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 the other three, the white man already did it. I'm pretty sure the white man already did it. The other two was interesting. It was the study of consumption of Malaysian food in space. <laughs> How the hell are you going to eat Malaysian food in space, man? You eat two days old Malaysian food, what's going to happen to you? Now try it <laughs> Most of you are, and you don't want to get diarrhea in space, man. <laughs> you don't want some meteorite shit to come. <laughs> right? And the last experiment that they did was really funny. It was the study of space, uh, the impact of space gravity on spinning motions. And so our brilliant Ankasawan decided to actually spin a top in space. How are you going to do that? Can you imagine? Uh, okay, everyone, I'm going to spin the top. Yuri, get ready, where's the camera? Okay, I'm gonna do it, it can be done. Damn it, I'm gonna do it. Spin! Oh shit, they win up. <laughs> Yuri, maybe tomorrow we try a different location. Huh? Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Obviously, diarrhea jokes for this car, huh?